Finding an apartment in Spain can be tricky, especially if you're on a non-lucrative visa like we are. We also didn't want to sign a lease remotely without seeing the apartment first, which meant we had to find our apartment right when we landed. I really wish we could live here because it looks ridiculous. The good news is that we found an apartment after about two weeks of searching. The bad news is that the process was a little bit more confusing and frustrating than we originally expected. So here's how we found our Spanish apartment, some of the challenges we faced, and what we learned signing our one-year lease on our non-lucrative visa. I'm Sean. And I'm Lainey. And this is Days We Spend. Apartment edition. <laughs> so a quick little bit of background. The LA consulate where we got our NLV does not require you to have a permanent Spanish address when you apply for the visa. So we rented an Airbnb instead of signing a lease, knowing that we were gonna spend our first month looking for an apartment. Airbnb is great for the first month, but it's way more expensive than renting. So we needed an actual lease, not a vacation rental, to finish our visa paperwork. So we started looking for a long-term apartment on idealista.com. Idealista is a great website to find listings in your budget, which was great. I said great twice, but it's fine. <laughs> The problem happens when we started messaging and emailing the listings and the realtors to actually set up visitations and views. We only got a few responses, usually telling us that the listing was gone or that they weren't gonna work with us. I even tried calling a few more listings using the phone number provided, but my Spanish isn't that strong and we didn't make much progress on the phone. Is that disponible? Oh. Of course. I think there's one more apartment on uh, Calle Valle Inclan. Talking to realtors on the phone is difficult. You need a pretty good amount of Spanish to do that. So I would say just go into the office. So we hit the streets of Orense, trying to talk to realtors face to face, visiting as many inmobiliarias as we could. You think you speak Spanish and then you go to rent an apartment and you don't. <laughs> she has to talk to the owners because our money, we don't have a job but we have enough money, but that's not the same thing in Spain. Many of the inmobiliarias were closed and didn't want to work with us because we didn't have proof of income. In Spain, most realtors and landlords require you to have a paycheck to prove your income. Bank statements aren't enough. The problem is, if you're on an NLV, like we are, you're not legally allowed to work, even remotely. And we're not actually retired with a pension or social security payments, so we literally have no regular income. This creates a weird catch-22, because in Spain, you're not allowed to work on an NLV, but you also need to prove that you have regular income to get a lease on an apartment. And you need that lease, not a part-time rental, to finish your NLV paperwork. It's very frustrating and honestly confusing. So we just went to another one and the guy opened the door and it's the sign for the real estate. And he's like, you have to call. And I'm like, are what? you the realtor? And he's like, yeah, but you have to call. And I'm like, what? And, and yesterday like, they were closed. So like... That's another one. This is tougher than I thought in a small town. Another immobiliaria. Another one that is not open. Just not there. It's, it's, and to be clear, it's Tuesday at like 11 a.m. And so we left a message with the woman in the lobby with our number and like what we're looking for. And she's like, yeah, they'll be back around noon. And I'm like, what? <laughs> the first and only place we've seen is looking really good. <laughs> Luckily, we found two realtors who would work with our bank statements, the same bank statements that we used for our NLV application. The actual realtor that we worked with, she glanced at our papers and she looked at our bank's numbers and she went, oh, you're going to be fine. Don't worry about this. I'm going to advocate for you. So finding the right person was really important. She literally went like, ah, <laughs> ah, it's fine. Which was hilarious because she was the first realtor to do that. Everyone else basically went, no. So don't get discouraged. Just keep working at it till you find someone who's good for you. So we just went into this place. Central Immobiliaria. So many eyes in the word for realtor. Immobiliaria. Immobiliaria. It's ridiculous. Yeah. We just talked to a woman who just like banged through like four listings. And yeah. she's like, you see today? Great, let's go. Yeah, and she was okay with our bank statements instead of a proof of income. So obviously she has to talk to the owners first, but 
such a hit or miss thing whether the realtor will be like, sure, that's fine, or like, yeah. no, 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 no. We'll see. Seven o'clock tonight. <laughs> Almost seven o'clock, so hopefully we can go and see the apartments in the Immobiliaria. If she's there, that'd be great. So Spanish. We're gonna yeah. be early for Spanish time. It might be four <laughs> places, it might be zero, so we'll see. <laughs> We're heading off to apartment number four. This one is in the cool tow neighborhood. And um, yeah, we'll see if it's, if it's nice. Good, good budget, good location, yeah. good goodness. All in all, we looked at four different apartment listings, uh, which was great. Honestly, we were pretty excited just to see those four after the frustrating beginning to the process, but all four were very livable. We could have lived in any of them. Luckily, after some talking and a little vermouth, we decided on our future home for our year in Spain. We are going to go sign the papers on our new place. <laughs> Kind of a tough decision to make. Like we came down to two apartments. Did we like the bigger one? That was not charming and not in a cute location, but a good location, like functional. Or did we want the classic Spanish experience with a, we, with a want, cute balcony? Do we want the cheaper, bigger, better located one? Or do we want the cute one? Well, the Q one is all fully like equipped too, yeah. like with everything, so including like linens. So, so we went with the Q one, both of us. This is not me being sarcastic. We went the Q mm -hmm. one, despite it being a little bit different location, a little bit different layout, and a tiny bit more expensive, but it's very fun. We just got the contracts and gave our 600 euro deposit to the realtor. They are gonna apply that 600 to part of our security. So it's two months security mm. and one month rent due when we sign the contract in about a week. Yeah. So we have a week to look it over. I think it's gonna be fine. And then it'll be 1200 euros, but that includes February, so. Yeah. So we're about to go sign the contract for our apartment, which is really exciting. It's a beautiful day to get a permanent address. Our realtor and landlady are supposed to help us set up some of the utilities, so hopefully that's easy and that they just take our bank transfer for the rest of the deposit. Let's go get an apartment. So we signed our apartment papers. We have an apartment. We got an apartment. <laughs> We had to bring cash to the appointment, which we didn't realize. So Sean had to run out to the ATM while I talked to our new landlady and everything was in Spanish. So it was really difficult for our level of proficiency, but we did it with the help of some Google Translate. <laughs> Overall, it was pretty easy process. We just signed all the different contracts and made sure we got a receipt for the deposit. It was nice, they were very friendly. Had we gone through a different immobiliaria, it might have been much harder. Yeah. So who you work with matters, which is nice. Our landlady decided that she is going to pay all of our utilities and take a picture and send us the bill and then we'll pay her for them. So we're a little bit nervous that that's not really good because we won't have any utilities except for Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi in our name. But that's something. But it's nice that she was able to work with us. I guess they were a little nervous because we didn't have our TIE cards. We don't have a Spanish bank account. We just have like a European bank account. Yeah, and we're doing this. Wow. Tenemos un apartamento. We gotta practice. Oh, 
Vermouth of victory. Vermouth three.